In this lesson, we're going to create our third form. And the third form is actually going to contain data from both our tables. If I just go back to the suppliers table, you'll remember that because we set up relationships between the products table and the suppliers table, I could expand a supplier and it would show me all the products for that particular supplier. Now, what we want to do in our third form is duplicate this effect of having a supplier and then underneath it, all of the products relating to that particular supplier. I've closed down all the objects in my database. I'm going to go to the Create tab on my ribbon and we're going to use on this occasion something called the Form Wizard. Now, in the first step of the Form Wizard, you're asked to select which table you want to get fields from for your form. And you can see you've got a drop down list here. So we'll start with the suppliers table. And for this form, I'm not going to include all the field names, but we'll include the supplier name, the contact name, the email address, and the phone number. Then I'm going to switch to the products table and I'm going to include the product name, the wholesale price, and the list price. Next. So the second step of the wizard asks, how do you want to view your data? If I view the data by supplier, I get the supplier fields in the main form and the product fields in a subform. If I chose to view my data by products, all of the fields would end up in the same form without a subform. The reason there is a difference between the views is because of the relationship we have between the tables. The supplier table is on the one side of the relationship and the product table is on the many. So the supplier code can only appear once in the suppliers table, but many times in the products table. Therefore, if I choose to view the data by supplier, I get the supplier fields in the main form. It appears once but it relates to many products in the subform. Next, you get two options for viewing your data in the subform, tabular or data sheet. Tabular is like a table, data sheet is like a little spreadsheet. We're gonna go for data sheet. Next, and I'm going to rename my tables, uh, my forms rather. So form supplier with products. And the four letter prefix for a subform is F sub supplier with products. So I normally make the main part of the name the same. So I can easily identify that this is the subform for this form. I want to modify the form's design. So I'm going to click on that radio button and I'm going to click on finish. Here's my form, it's in design view. I can make any necessary changes. I'm gonna delete this default heading in the form header. Design tab on my ribbon, insert my logo. I'll add some buttons. Record navigation, go to previous record. So we'll call this command previous supplier with products. We'll add another one. Record navigation, next record. Command next supplier with products. Finish. So let's just change the position of these little buttons and I'll format them. Held down shift to select both. Format tab on my ribbon, change the background color to gray. I'm going to get rid of the outline around the buttons, shape outline transparent. And then I'm going to change the background color of the header itself. So I click on the background, format, background color automatic. Down in the detail part of the form, I'm going to select these labels, format tab on the ribbon, 
make the text bold, change the font color to black. We'll select the fields themselves, change the background color to a light gray, get rid of the border. Now this is the sub form, which can show all the products for this supplier. I'm going to get rid of the label, so I click on the label, press delete on my keyboard. Then I'm going to drag the sub form over. And then I'll see what it looks like in the form view. So this is the effect you have. You've got the supplier details here. If I navigate through the suppliers, you can see you get the different products that relate to that particular supplier. A little bit more formatting, I think, for my form. Not quite finished yet. Let's select these fields. Let's make them all the same width. So if I go to the Arrange tab, Size and Space, Size to Widest. Form view, that looks a bit better. It will move the form down a little bit. I'm using the down arrow on my keyboard. Give it a bit more space. Maybe I'll make this slightly less high. Just keep going back to your form view to see what your changes look like. Don't like the fact that I've got record navigation buttons, both for the sub form and the main form. To take those off, we're actually going to have to go into the sub form itself. Can you see there is an object for the sub form? Now, if I double click on that, it opens up. I go to design view. Do I want to save changes to the form, form suppliers with products? Yes. It actually closed that form. So I could edit the sub form. Going to the property sheet. If the property sheet's not visible, go to design property sheet. Go to the format tab. Navigation buttons, no. So then I'll save that sub form, close it down, reopen the main form. You can see that the navigation buttons have gone there. I also want to get rid of this record selector. So I need to be in the main form for that. View, design view. Again, in the property sheet, format tab. Record selector, no. Save, go back to form view. You can see now it's gone. This form, I want to be read only. I don't want people to make changes to the supplier information or the product information. Now to achieve that, I'll go back to design view. Property sheet, I'll make sure form is selected there. Data tab, and I've got three options here. Allow additions, deletions, and edits. Change all of those to no. Save. Back to form view. You'll see now that I don't have a new record button down on the navigation buttons. We'll still navigate between the products, but I can't add new ones and I can't make changes. Typing away here, I can't make changes to the data either. I've just spotted a problem with this list price. Can't see the value, so we will go back to design view. Select the sub form, I'll just extend its width. Back to form view, and now we can see the prices. Maybe it's slightly too wide. Don't spend too long on this. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that, but in your version, you can play around with the exact size of that. If you can get as far as that with your form and save it, we will then be ready to move on to the next lesson.